We're gamers united, where we're gonna play games. You know we're gonna have fun. Plus, we share our gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gamers United. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of... I was gonna say Super Mario. Um, Skyward Sword HD on the Nintendo Switch. We are going to um, go uh, to uh, the sealed grounds as they were talking about last time. Or that uh, that lady by um, Princess Zelda. Yeah. I think I might have broke something. Hey, Fuddler, seriously. Didn't anyone ever teach you how to land without a crash? Whoa! Birds, tiny birds, what are they? And what is that thing? So I figured I'd tell you, and you might lead me to Zelda. But this is so wild. Seriously, what is that thing over there? And what is it with all these trees? There are so many. Just give it to me straight. I can't take it. Where are we? Is Zelda here? What's the deal with this place? And if, if, it's, if there's supposed to be nothing below the clouds, what's all this? Legend of Groups. <laughs> uh, whoa. You're kind of imploding my mind right now. But I think I get what you're saying. If I got this straight, Zelda's down here somewhere and she's okay? She's okay? Oh, wow, that's so great. Uh, ha, ha. Hearing that, that is such a huge weight off my mind. You know, Fuddler, it's all sort of all right down here. This place needs a name. Yeah, a name fitting for this rugged, adventurous wilderness. For now, we'll call it Rusland. Okay. So let me see if I got this right. The old lady living in the temple down the road from here knows where Zelda is. I see right, Fuddler. Thanks for getting me here. You've done a good job. You can head home. <coughs> Big Groose will handle the search for Zelda from here. Yep, I'll track her down, save her, and then give her a lift back to Skyloft. 
<laughs> then we'll get back. I'll ask her if she wants to make her our whole going out thing official. And then the two of us will get some quality time together. <laughs> anyway, the point is you, your work here is done. I got it covered from here. Now, I'm off to find that old lady work you were talking about. Catch you later, Fuddler. You gotta be kidding me, Granny. You're messing with these. Say it again, I dare you. I only speak the truth. You are not the one who will save her. The spirit made it. Your Zelda can only be saved by another. It has been his fate to do this thing, and in doing so to save us, as it was decided long before you were brought crying into this world. <laughs> Shut it, Granny. You obviously don't know me well, because if you did, you know I'm. If anyone's gonna sell Zelda, it's, or save Zelda, it's Groups. How could it not be me? Plus, if it ain't me, why would I even be here? If I'm not up to the job of being a hero, then just who is? Huh? Oh, now I get you. Father Granny here is trying to tell me that you're gonna be the big hero who saves rescues Zelda. What a joke. Look, all I've heard so far is a bunch of babbling about destiny, and there's a load of garbage. But that's a load of garbage. I know you're you, and you're no hero, shrimp. Uh -huh. Greetings, Twiddler. Were you able to catch up with Zelda? Ah, I see. So the Guardian was there as well, as she, was she? The one who you saw by Zelda's side is known as Impa. She's being sent forth by the goddess to aid Zelda in her quest. The two have traveled somewhere in order to accomplish the great task, or try, great task destiny has set before them. However, now that Impa has destroyed the gate that they use, there is only one way left to find them. You must make use of the harp given to you by Zelda. Tell me, Father, have you attempted to play the harp you received? My sense is that you have not yet familiarized yourself with it. Very well, I shall teach you how to play it. Listen well as I do as I say. First, press the X to ready your heart. Good, you learned fast. Now your next lesson. Focus on and play it with the pulsing of the circle of life. When your time is right, I shall join my voice and heart. Listen well, for the song I sing will be a great help to you in your journey.
you want to play Tetris? The harpiole is known as the goddess harp. It is the divine instrument of the goddess who once watched over this land. The melodies it brings to life have the power to produce a variety of strange and otherworldly effects. The great slab standing, slab standing before you is known as the gate of time. It is the last of its kind in existence, the only portal binding our world to the one where Zelda now resides. If you manage to open the gate and pass through, you will, you will likely end up in the same place as Zelda. But you will need to endure many hardships and put yourself in great danger to awaken the gate from its dormant slab. Though through your journal journey will put you in a harm's way, Father, you must endure. It is the fate of the chosen hero of the... <laughs> Shaking. I fear the seal has been broken. I expected that it would arrive to your son in the gate, but I never imagined the seal would break so quickly. Father, there will be time to fix one there. Right now, you must hurry to the bottom of the pit outside. <laughs> what do you... <laughs> I just want to run up this, this pillar. supposed to be solid down here. Go quickly, Father. Check on the ceiling spike at the center of the pit. There is nothing natural about the rumors. That monster could free itself at any moment. Approach the pit with caution. Explain there, but now, but now is the time for action. We must keep that beast from escaping the pit. It must not reach the temple. Yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, it says two. We gotta do it one more time. Not a fan of this boss. Ceiling spike with the skyward strike and restore the seal quickly. I don't know if there's a timeline on this, but I always ran right to the thing and did it. I don't want to have to risk riding him anymore. Alright. Ooh, triangle. Nice going, Fuddler. Though so the imprisoned has only just begun to awake and break its spawn, I'm impressed you were able to restore the seal, keeping it captive. Unfortunately, you have only succeeded in buying us a little more time in which to act. The behemoth you beat in, uh, into the confinement is a horrible, unspeakable power. Judging by what I saw, I would not be surprised if the seal gave away again soon. So you are left with precious little time to complete the task which, which you have been entrusted. Return to the seal temple, Fuddler. There is much to discuss. I'll see you there in 30 minutes. get to a census. 
As you see, the gate is nothing more than a slab of coal stone for now. It is sleeping. Rousing it, it from the, its slumber would require great power. Yes, I believe a shot of the holy light from the skyward strike might do. Might just do it. Uh, sorry to disappoint you, boy, but you're... But for now, your sword lacks the power necessary to awaken the gate. First, you must and your sword must grow together. Farn Woods, Elden Volcano, and Lanayru Desert. A sacred flame is hidden somewhere in each of these lands. Seek them out and purify your sword in, the, in their heat. Only after the, your blade has been tempered by the three flames or three fires will it be fully endued with the great power of which you search. Clues to find the sacred flames have been woven into the lyrics of the sound of <laughs> lyrics of a song precious to your people, the ballad of the goddess. These clues are are your best hope in finding your way to the flames. Return to Skyloft. Somewhere on on your island is one who has knowledge of this old song. Will point you in the right direction. see in time that you have a ro your own role to play in all this. Mm. Butler, go now. Trust in fate to guide your feet. Your mission depends on it, as does Selva's fate. Scorpion was. Great Goron, I have found some. Look, these butterflies that respond to beautiful tones are swarming all over this place. It has to be a right spot. Hmm. Oh, this could be a problem. I cannot carry a tune. I could not create beautiful tunes if wild animals threatened to throw me down a hill. What can we do? One of the talking statues that the ancient text spoke of. There is no mistake in it. Ooh, that's cool. symbols on the wall. And again, I never try to figure them out, so... It's just like the old text say, buddy. It appears with a boing and spoke in some strange tongue. Mm -hmm. This is a major leap forward in the, my study of talking statues. Next are those goddess walls. I have an inkling I will not have to look far to, for those either, and I mean to find one no matter what. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you doing the same? 
guy! We're in about 26 minutes of this episode, so let's uh, try to get some of these uh, gratitude quests out of the way. I got the few more I can do, I think. <laughs> Actually, a, a glitch I just saw. You can actually go into uh, Zelda's room, which is really weird. Like, uh, <laughs> what do you think you're doing in a girl's room at this time of night? I need to take a bath, so get out here, yeah. over. Well, I would take a bath if if any if whoever is in there no now hurry and get get out. They've been in there a long time. Get out of my room so I can take a bath in another room. Alright, let's go to the bathroom though. Somebody, please, somebody help me. Oh, paper. Please, someone bring me some. Bring me paper. Please, bring some paper. Any pa paper. Uh, you know. Okay, I'm. Um. Alright, let's go. Uh. Okay, 
that's my room. <laughs> I was like, where's Link's room? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm Fuddler. I'm Fuddiddly. You. Don't sink up on me like that. I have a serious dilemma on my mind right now, and you're distracting me. Can I help? Well, uh, really? Uh, normally, I would ask some, never ask someone for you for help, but these are dire times. Come to think of it, you might just be the person I need. You seem to be pretty good, ladies. Uh, I can't believe I just said that, but whatever. Let's do this. Fuddler, I have a task for you. So listen up. Your mission is to take this piece of paper to a certain person. It is a very important piece of paper. Make sure you deliver it. Oh, what's your problem? Why are you looking at the restroom? What? There's someone at the restaurant who wants paper? You fool. How dare you? This is no ordinary piece. It's a letter. I, a very special one at that. I put my heart into every word. I guess you could say it's sort of like... Like, all right, fine, it's a love letter. That's why you will not, under any circumstances, a lover allowed to use this letter. Do you, you hear me? So listen up. The person you must give this to is a girl, an upperclassman. Her name is Shereen. You know what I mean, right? She's the one with the round hat. She's really cute. You know the one. And don't you dare not even mistake every minute to that weirdo in the restroom. I swear. Here it is. I'm addressing this letter for you. So don't read what's inside. Do you hear me? On you, father. Get to it. If you mess this up, maybe I'll let you be my. If you don't mess this up, I'll let you be my psychic. So you could, uh, let's read in the strategy guide. You could do either one and you get points. So I'm gonna use it for toilet paper. <laughs> If you do do the toilet paper route, you actually get more, or you, it's actually happier, so. Ah, uh, paper, you brought me some paper. I'll open the door, please come in. Paper. I am not angry or anything. I just need paper. Oh, you're giving me paper? I'm so happy. But this looks like someone else's letter. Are you sure I can have this? Thank you. I will use it with care. But I'm shy, so don't ask me what I want the paper for. May we meet again, you kind soul.
Hey, brother, did you hand that le <laughs> hand over that letter like I asked? Actually, <laughs> what you say? You gave it to the weirdo in the restroom? Didn't I specifically tell you not to do give it to the weirdo in the restroom? Seriously, I said it like five times. I know I did. You fool! How could you? Anyone who blocks the path of true love deserves to be kicked by a bird. I hate you, brother. <laughs> But he, if he did the love letter to the girl, he wouldn't have been happy, so. Oh, oh it's you, brother. What do you want with me? Huh, what am I doing? <laughs> bugs, I'm looking for bugs. Mm. Bugs are amazing. Even more amazing than Groose is in a lot of ways. Oh, I'm not saying Groose isn't amazing as a bug. Look, I just really like bugs. I, really, I, I want to collect all types of bugs. Sometimes I even dream about having like an entire island full of bugs. Mm. How about this? Here's a plan. If you find a bug, come sell it to me. And when it comes to the bugs, rubies are no object. <laughs> so if you ever want to sell any bugs just bring them to me I usually hang out here at night I just want to buy any bug though but what I buy on any given day just depends on my mood oh and one other thing this might bug you a little bit but I only want to do deals at night I have a re reputation to re protect you know <laughs> got a father I don't mean to be a pest on, but I'm counting on you I can't stop thinking about bugs so let let me let me get get to it. What what do you want me to what do you want to sell me tonight? Let's see. Tonight I I like to buy I have no Six, seven. <sighs> Ooh, let me catch my breath. Hey, Fuddler. Oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though, but so I do it at night where no one's around to laugh at me. <sighs> but it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I, I was actually about to ready to throw in the towel. Uh, if there's only a potion that would give me stamina, then I would be able to drink that and maybe find that last bit of strength I need. <sighs> Fat chance, I, I suppose, but just have to pick my nose to the grindstone. Yeah, just buckle up down the bootstraps and all that, right? Anyways, I'll keep working on this as long as I can, all on my own, I guess. I. Nah, help. 
Oh, uh, you're the one from the other day. It's good to see you again, actually. Name thanks to you, my friend, my true love. Yes, him. It all started with that letter you get, gave me. Those beautiful words of affection caused me to fall hopelessly in love. Uh, my heart is bursting with thoughts of him. I feel excited so cheerfully and full of life. There we go. See if I can get that potion for Fledge. <laughs> Come on. Am I sleep in your place till morning? bottle for this one thing, obviously. What do you have there? Is that a stamina potion? I don't suppose you let me have it, would you? <sighs> really? Thank you. I owe you one. <sighs> well, yeah, I could feel my muscles perking up back up already. <sighs> it's just that at this rate, I don't know if I'll get strong and burly. Try your rest, yes, you. <laughs> right. That's exactly what I do. No more whining. I need to push myself. Thank you, Father. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super burly in no time. And back to training. Come back and I'll show you the new me. Be strong. Come back soon, and I'll show you. Yeah. 
to leave and come back? No matter how much 
much you miss me. I don't t take the habit of having customers around my house when I'm off the clock, you know? Or am I being too self-conscious? So here's the thing, Father. My house is terribly dirty. Pippin is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I just can't bring myself to do it. That's why I asked you if you won't mind cleaning it for me. I'll, I'll even pay you, Father. I'm on it. You know, great. I know you wouldn't leave me to sit in a dusty house, Father. What's that, a broom? You know, I don't even remember where we keep the crazy thing, or if we owned our own one. Most of the time, I just wait for a good, strong wind to come in and blow the dust away. So... Look, I don't care how you get the job done. I just want you to blow it all away for me. So just, I'll just leave you to it then. in my home. Thank you, Puddler. You brighten my day. Come over here and I'll let me pay you. Thank you so much, Puddler. My home is sparkling clean again. It feels so much better when when the place isn't uh, under a blanket of dust. I need Well, there's dangerous out here at night, so be careful. This area is oh. on my route patrol. Okay, yep. Good. <laughs> 
this way. Oh, I gotta find him. That's what's going on. I'm, I'm supposed to be uh, visiting them at the plaza during the day. There you go. Hey there, father. Thanks for the stamina potion. Since you give it to me, I've been doing push-ups like a machine. You'll see. I'll be as tough as you in no time. Just you wait. I'm, I'm going to keep working out at night until I'm strong like you. Yeah, this triggers the next part of it. I'll do this and then I'll probably do what I'm supposed to do up here and then I'll end the episode and then do the gratitude crystal um, reward on the next one. about hitting his next plateau. Thanks again for the stamina potion. Since I've been doing it, I've been doing push-ups like a machine. Oh. 
Okay, I'm just gonna do other stuff right now. We'll come back to this. I probably just need to leave, leave the clouds for a second. It'll... Good to see you in one piece. So how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Hmm, I see. My dear Zelda, things have been might be terribly trying for her down there. And it can't be easy for you either, can it? What, you want me to know the lyrics to the song Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Oh, you just want the lyrics? Oh... Whatever, if you you really put me on the spot for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. Oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess. Unite earth and sky and bring light to the hand. That's the first part, but as I recall, the second verse, that, there's a second verse of the song. Oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower and before you a path shall open and a heavenly song shall hear i believe that's the whole thing the light tower is mentioned in the song is a real place i'm not sure i i'm sure have you seen it in the tower in the plaza i'm not i don't know a thing about the two whirling sail so it sounds like the song is suggesting that if one shows these whirling sails the way to the tower something will happen but how do you go about doing that? And what does it mean? Two whirling sails? Hmm. We did see one, um, one sail around here. There it is. I want to point to that light tower over there. I pretty much have it line up with that, uh, that top block with the other block. Okay. So we have one more. Oh, it's over there. You can see it from here. Do you have anything else to say? Yeah, I... nothing new. about that windmill huh pretty smart design I gotta say see you can turn the windmill so I c it could always catch the wind no matter what its way is blowing but well there used to be a little propeller attached to the windmill so that I could turn it the thing flew off ages ago it must have dropped off the edge even beneath the clouds the windmill has been useless uselessly sitting there ever since I highly suggest you, you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to the reorient the windmill. You want to know if I could fix it, fix the windmill if you brought the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rip something together to get back on there, sure. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place. Once fall, once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. 
Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in the family once had used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed through over a lot of years. So I wouldn't put too much stock in it. Alright, um, that's probably good for now. It's about an hour and eight minutes. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. We're, uh, we're going to do the... Um, find the other windmill. We're going to start the next section of the quest. Um, maybe I'll have some more of... Uh, um, gratitude crystal quest but not, uh, probably very minor um, but thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day game on and take care bye guys hi everyone thank you so much for watching this video both me and Chelsea greatly appreciate it um, if you want to subscribe to this channel see more content that's cool if not that's cool as well um, I'm a gamer who likes to play games talk games love games breathe games all that fun jazz but uh everyone out there have a wonderful night take care and game on gamers bye